page. <laughs> I don't want to hear you say that. Put that umbrella around the one to take it off you. Warum? Three, two, one. Teaching assistant Kat Hollinghurst is in at the deep end. I need to go to the notes page. She's in sole charge of a year eight PSHE right. class. Now, you should have all got those three facts down. Kat's had experience of team teaching, but she's finding being on her own tough going. At worst, I want to pull my hair out because they don't listen. The majority of them are chatting, off task, unable to settle. It takes a long time to get just the starter done. It looks like a classic case of demoralising low-level disruption. So who better than behaviour guru John Bailey to help out? Planners, pencil cases, house point books. Chilton Trinity in rural Somerset prides itself on its caring environment. Today, Kat's PSHE lesson will try to develop the pupils' listening skills. In the starter, she wants students to speak and listen to each other. I would like you to just be thinking of a topic that you can talk about for one minute. OK? Any topic, nothing rude. So it might be a hobby, your favourite subject. Just be thinking about that while I'm taking the register. But they come into the room, you have an established routine, you ask them to get their planners and, and, and uh, the materials that they need for the lesson. Uh, you do a countdown um, and they focus on you and do what you're saying. I think you're very good. Um, no, 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 <laughs> I, no, I, no, you've got to hang on to this idea right, okay. because we're, uh, later on we'll be looking at some, some issues. Five, four, three, two, one. Always works, very good. Everyone paying attention? So you've got one minute for the first person to start talking, and I will tell you when to stop and when you're going to switch over. I guess to put it at its strongest, you're teaching while you're learning to teach. Yeah. What's that like? I'm used to now being up in front of... at the front of the classroom rather than um, just helping out around the classroom, so I'm used to directing it. And that did take a lot of getting used to at first. The lesson is following a familiar pattern. Cat start has gone well, but the behaviour is beginning to deteriorate. Right, Kieran, no that, thank you. You need to go and sit in your seat. It's 20 minutes in, and Cat's moving on to yet another listening activity. Write down or draw the three most important facts or three ideas that you thought you heard your partner saying? I'm just wondering about the level of challenge, um, because I'm thinking, you've got this group in the palm of your hand. I wonder if part of the issue here is that you're trying to make a lesson out of 90 seconds worth of material. So, do you see what I mean? I'm a bit worried about yeah. the richness of the lesson. Try and come up with at least five things that you think make a good listener. He's seconds away from finding that you could either flick it across the room or, even better, you might get some ink out of it. Right, Kieran. Kieran. He's got an aeroplane. Mm -hmm. He's sort of doing some colouring in, isn't he? Yeah. This chap just had a really good idea, which is that if you make a really nifty aeroplane with a point on it, you might just be able to chuck it in your friend's ear. <laughs> uh, that'll be great. <laughs> None of this behaviour is directed at you, is it? No. I guess we have to call it classically off-task behaviour. Yeah. Why do you think they're doing it? Because they're bored. They're bored, aren't they? Yeah. Um, let's, just, uh, let's just give ourselves a little bit of agony by watching a bit more of it. Just put it in the bin. Right, we should have quiet now. You, you do some nice low-level stuff, right. put it in the bin. Um, but it's not going to go in the bin because it's got an exciting yeah. message written on it. <laughs> Only an idiot would put it in the bin in the absence of a, of a sanction because um, she, and come to that me, now wants to find out what's written on this fabulous piece of paper here. I think some of you are quite off task. 
Don't underestimate these kids. When you were 12 or 13, what would you have done in that lesson? I would have sat there and did it. Would you? Yeah. <laughs> Teachers. <laughs> <laughs> I was quite good at scrubbing. <laughs> in groups of four, on your tables, I want you to do a poster. Only my top tip for being a good listener is... Okay. No doubt you could control this with some behaviour management techniques, mm -hmm. but just at the moment, I'm not thinking here that anybody deserves a detention um, or a phone call home. I'm, no. I'm, we've got to talk about lesson planning, haven't we? Yeah. My guess is they've been doing stuff like this in school since they're about five. Yeah. There's, there's nothing wrong with repeating what you do at primary school, especially once you've been poisoned by adolescent hormones. Mm -hmm. But it's got to have a few knobs on it. Um, otherwise, um, really, you're, you're repeating stuff they've done already. I think it's an experience thing. I'm not experienced enough to think, well, this activity isn't working. Let's switch and do this. OK, well, that's good, because that means you know the first answer right away. Uh, when the activity isn't working, you do switch and do yeah. something else. Absolutely bingo. The key to it, I think, it goes like this. You start lessons with objectives. What we are going to do, what we're going to learn. And, and the key test is what are they going to know at the end of a lesson or be able to do at the end of a lesson they didn't do before. Once we've got the objectives, we know where we're going in the lesson. So then we've got four or five teaching episodes. And I think with a group that age, you need four or five activities. Use your guts, you know, go with the force. Think of one of those boys who likes mucking around with, yeah. with pencils and say to yourself, if I was teaching him, what do yeah, I need to do to keep, to keep him engaged? A week later, John's back. And he's keen to see if Kat's changed her approach to lesson planning. This time, she's looking at the dangers of social networking on the internet. What's gone through your mind? What are the thought processes gone behind this lesson? Uh, I've been looking at how to keep the students engaged throughout the whole hour, making sure there's lots of different varied activities, um, getting them moving around the room maybe a bit more, and making sure that there's a focus and that they know the focus of the things that they are learning. OK, great. Look forward to it. We are going to be looking at why is it important to keep yourself safe on the internet, OK? and the impact that social networking sites, so things like Facebook and Bebo, the impact they can have on your friends and family. Kieran, can you do the other ones? The objectives are looking good, but John wants to see whether Kat's activities will keep the pupils engaged. When you get your books, you just need to list all the different websites where you can chat and get to know people, so things like Facebook and Bebo and everything. So pens, pencil cases out then, please. Because you've only got 30 seconds. Corey, write down all the websites where you can chat and get to know people. Five, four, three, two, one. Right then, what are some of the sites we've got then? Hands up. Fred? Twitter. Twitter, excellent. Liam? MySpace. MySpace, Bradley? Um, Stick Men Wars Online. Stick Men Wars Online. Stick Men Wars, excellent. I don't know about that one. Jack? Xbox Live. Xbox Live, yeah. Habo. Habo. Carly, we got one? Oh, Bebo. Oh, Bebo. Tagged. Tagged, Tagged. yeah. Bebo. Corey? Yeah, Twitter. Twitter, yeah, I've had that one. Corey, which is the one you're saying? Bebo. Bebo, yeah. <laughs> you all know quite a few of the different sites. And what we're going to do now, I'm going to give you a Facebook page to have a look at. OK. Ryan? This time, Kat's brought along plenty of stimulus material. Let's go through how many different things you can find out about that person. Just by looking at this, what does this tell you about this person? Look at all of the different things. Right. Okay. 
you are looking at this and finding out all the different things you can about this person. Exactly. So all of the, those different things that you can find out. Chloe, off you go. She works for Somerset County Council. She's a deputy team leader. Hands up. One bit of personal information that you can tell me about this person. Okay. Aiden. She's 28. Right, she's 28. How do you find that out? Her birthday. She's got her date of birth on there, yeah? Well done. Employer Homes Caring for Autism. Right, so where she works, you can find yeah. that out. Rory. She's got three jobs. She's got three jobs, yeah. Ryan. She likes Shameless. She likes Shameless, yeah. Season. Molly. Where she was born. Where she was born, yeah. Callum. Uh, she likes Cadbury Cream Eggs. So far, so good. But can she keep it going for her next activity? And I've got a newspaper article, and it's actually a story that was in the news last week that you might have already heard about, OK? It's about a girl called Ashley Hall who met a guy through Facebook. She's only 17. And she went to meet him. And she was found murdered because this guy wasn't who he'd said he was on Facebook. A white tank comes to place with 17 year old Fozzie was found. In a statement, they said, we can confirm that Peter Chapman was a registered sex offender. No, people say that Facebook is like completely safe because I had this teacher in primary school and she said, oh, I've got Facebook, it's fine. She was giving what us a school. <laughs> you would... <laughs> You think they're 17, but they're actually 36, or, and people would get tricked. They've been made since to locate him. That's on the eBay window. Which one's the left side? This one. I think. Which one? The evil one. Right, Shannon, one thing how that web page could be made safer. Um, if you did, put where you live on it. Right, brilliant. Kieran, one thing, how that page could be made safer. Name. We can't change the name. Jade, one thing, how it could be made safer. Don't pick a location. Location, yeah, so we've already had place. Kirby. Age limit. Age limit, right, fantastic, on the website. Uh, Carly. It's private, so they can't call it unless you add them as a friend. Right, brilliant, make it private. Put, like, your birthday. Don't put your birthday on it, yeah. The class appears much more on task than before. Cat's activities, linked to the lesson objectives, seem to be easing the behaviour problems. Let's turn to the last page. It might have it there. We haven't done anything yet. <laughs> oh. Oh, my <clears throat> Next time, that thing comes on again. Tell me how you felt about that lesson. I felt it went well, um, because there was lots of different activities for them to do, and we moved quite quickly from each activity, um, and kept them focused better, and it was a topic that they were interested in and could relate to. It had engagement, it had pace, I think it was much, much better. And I thought, I thought they were learning stuff. You've got that idea of objectives and episodes, you're two thirds of the way there. And you will find that the, the final third will start coming. Um, instead of counting down, you'll be saying, whoa, whoa, whoa one at a time, please. OK, yeah. now so-and-so is going to come to the front and announce it. And it's going to be fantastic. Right then. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>